Some of you are probably thinking now, all right, we can measure angles in degrees and we can measure angles in radians. Is there a way that we can go back and forth between the two of them? Is there some type of conversion that allows us to go back and forth between the two? So I think there is. So let's look at this particular circle that I have here. Notice that I have a ray. It has rotated all the way around a full 360 degrees for one full rotation. So that described an arc that went all the way around and the arc of a full circle is described as two pi r. So to remember how we described our theta and radians, theta equaled the s over the r. The s in this particular case is a two pi r divided by r, knows the r's cancel. And so the distance around is two pi radians. Now remember the degrees, how many degrees make a full circle? That was 360 degrees. So that was a full circle in degree world. What's a full circle in radian world? Is two pi radians. From there, we can reduce a little bit by dividing both sides by a two. So I would get 180 degrees equals pi radians. And given this basic relationship now, gives us the, again, a basis of a conversion going from degrees to radians, and likewise, radians degrees. So let's look at a couple examples. Let's first look at how we convert from degrees to radians. In order to go from degrees to radians, I'm gonna go back and look at my relationship that we discovered, 180 degrees equals pi radians. Now imagine if I divided both sides of that one by 180 degrees. And I don't know how to do it there. Divide both sides by 180, I would get a relationship of pi radians. How do you spell radians? A, that I put in A, there we go. Over 180 degrees. That's a relationship where that's an equal unit. Pi radians is the same thing at 180 degrees. So I have a conversion um, ratio that I discovered. So I can use that when I want to go from degrees to radians. So imagine that I have something that is 30 degrees. What's its conversion radians? Well, I'm going to multiply 30 degrees by my clever version of one. My clever version of one is pi radians divided by 180 degrees. Again, I want you to see that's a clever version of one. It was a conversion factor that we discovered based on this relationship. Any value times one, its value remains. So I have 30 degrees times my clever version of one. Now notice what happens when we do this. Let's multiply that through. I'm going to have 30 degrees times pi radians all over 180 degrees. Notice the degrees cancel. 30 divided by 180, that reduces down to what folks, one over six? Yep, one over six. So I'm left with pi sixth radians. And I'll leave my result in that particular way. I'm not going to approximate pi in the calculator and get an approximation, divide that approximation by six, leaving our solutions as pi, with pi being in the solution is completely appropriate and even beneficial and it provides an exact solution. So what is 30 degrees? 30 degrees converts over to pi six radians. Let's look at another one. What is 90 degrees? convert over to. Well, let's use our conversion that we built based off, our, off of our relationship. So 90 degrees times pi radians over 180 degrees. Multiply that through. The degrees cancel. 90 divided by 180, that ratio, that ratio reduces to 1 half. So my solution then would be pi halves radians, or just pi halves by context. So 90 degrees, remember that one? That was a square angle. So 90 degrees also is the same thing as half of pi 
radians. We can also look at, um, for example, how do we convert a negative degree? So let's say I have a negative 135 degrees. Well, I'm going to use again this conversion that we developed. So multiply that by my clever version of 1, which is pi radians, divided by 180 degrees. Again, degrees cancel. 135 and 180 reduces down to, I think 45 is common to both of those. So I would have a 3 fourths. Pi remains in the top. So it would be 3 fourths pi radians is my solution. But notice I also had a negative as well. So I'm going to carry that negative through. So a negative 135 degrees equals, in radian world, negative 3 fourths pi. So that's what we're going to try to do is learn how to go from one world to the other world. So going from degree world to radian world, make sure you remember this clever version of one where the radians are on top and the degrees are on bottom. The reason why we chose that particular ratio is the degrees cancel out and the units I'm left with are radians. Now, let's look at a few examples going back the other direction, radian world to degree As world. As we go from radian world to degree world, we want to develop a never, another clever version of one ratio. Earlier we had radians over degrees. This one, let's use the other one. Let's use 180 degrees over pi radians. Notice that ratio, its value is one. So I can multiply that or use that ratio with any value and my value remains, but we're using this in order to go from radians to degrees. So let's say for example, we begin with pi third radians. And I'll just leave pi third, well, I'll put pi third radians for now. How do we convert that to degrees? Multiply it by our conversion, which is 180 degrees over pi radians. Notice that radians cancel out. Pi cancels out, then I'm left with 180 degrees divided by 3. And that reduces down to 60 degrees. So pi third radians, its equivalent in degree world is 60 degrees. Let's look at negative 5 pi thirds. I'm going to run out of room, I'm going to lose contact here, so let's do the best we can. So negative pi thirds radians, convert that to degrees. I'll use my conversion factor, which is 180 divided by pi rads. Notice here, or sorry, five, third, five pi thirds, there's a pi there. So pi and rads cancel out. Then I'm left with negative five times 180 divided by three. Degrees are still there. And that reduces down to 180 divided by three is 60. 60 times negative five gives me a negative 300 degrees. So negative five pi thirds radians is equivalent to negative 300 degrees. All right, let's look at another one. Let's look at one radian. That one's an interesting one. What does one radian do? So I have one rad. The conversion from radians to degrees, how much is one radian? We multiply that by our conversion factor, which is 180 degrees over pi radians. Notice again why it's beneficial, why we have to use this conversion factor. We have the degrees on top and the radians on the bottom in order that our radians cancel out. So pi radians cancels out with pi radians. As we multiply across, I'm left, or sorry, just one radian. It wasn't one pi radian, it was just one radian. So I still have that pi. There's no pi right there. Let me rewrite that. It was just one radian. So in this case, I have 180 degrees. I still have the pi on the bottom. I'm going to get an approximation of that because I'm curious what is its degree. And so I got to use the black box. 
make that 180 divided by pi if I can find my pi key. And that approximates the 57.29, 57.3 degrees. And that's an approximation. So understand approximations um, aren't exact. If we left pi in there, we would have an exact value, but I really don't know what 180 divided by pi in degree world is. I want to find it close, and so my approximation is 57.3 degrees. One more example that I think I have for you is if I have 2.3 radians. So we looked at one radian. What if my measurement was 2.3 radians? Not 2.3 pi, just 2.3 radians. How do we deal with that? We still use our conversion factor. We have 180 degrees divided by pi radians. What cancels out as we multiply across? Radians cancel out with radians. I'm left with a 2.3 times 180 degrees divided by pi. That's my exact answer. Well, I can probably multiply 2.3 times 180 and get what, 360 plus whatever. But let's get an approximation. And in order to get approximation, we gotta use the black box again. So it's 2.3 times 180 divided by pi. And my approximation is 131.8 degrees. Now I also noticed that my original example I want to do, it was a negative 2.3 radians. So what do you think that negative is going to do if I wrote that correctly the first time? That negative is going to follow through all the way and I'm going to end up with a negative 131.8 degrees as my approximate measure in degree world. So what have we discovered? We can convert back and forth between degrees and radians.